Waiters of Reddit, what's the worst first date you've ever seen? I'm a waitress at a mid-range priced bar grill. Just yesterday, a younger couple came in. And as I greet them I ask if they want anything besides water. Conversation is as follows. Girl, may I have a coke? Or Pepsi? Boy, God, Aaron, I'm paying. Girl, water will be fine actually. I heart immediately sank. Because you bet your ass he tipped less than 10% too. Served a couple a few months ago. Every time I walked over, he would always be the one talking. And she would just be sitting there not having a good time. At the end I asked if it was one bill or separate and she immediately piped up separate. I go and take his payment. And as I hand over the debit machine to the girl, I see the guy take his phone out and start swiping through Tinder. I was working at a Mexican restaurant at the time. I was waiting on a couple and I could tell it was a first date by the questions I heard them asking each other. Anyway. Towards the end of their meal there was this Hispanic girl sweeping next to their table and the woman looks at her. Holds out the remains on her plate and says. Would you like to take this home to feed your kids? I stood there in complete shock. This woman spoke no English. But she could tell this random woman was completely degrading her. The sad thing is she seemed like she really thought she was doing a good deed. Her date looked so embarrassed. Olive Garden. Around 2014 or so. From like 7.30 close on a weeknight. Middle aged man of sub average attractiveness was sitting alone at a table with a glass of water. Insisting that his date would be just a few minutes. There's traffic. At around 9.15. Manager had to come out and let him know that the restaurant would close at 10, and if he'd like to place a food order, he should probably do it now. He ordered a bruschetta appetizer, and said again that his date was on her way and they'd order when she got there. 9.45. This beautiful woman walks in and awkwardly stands by his table. I couldn't hear the conversation they had, but the man then asked for a box for the appetizer and they wound up leaving together without her even sitting down. It was one of my first dates where the waiter definitely could sense the awkwardness. I was a junior in high school. I had been flirting with a senior for a couple months and asked her out the day I got my license. I picked her up from her house and within one minute of being in the car she got a phone call. One of her best friends died of a brain aneurysm earlier that day. I told her that we could delay the date and offer to take her home. But she declined and insisted we carry on. We get to the restaurant and she is crying at the table. I didn't say any words to her other than are you okay the whole day because she was either texting her group of friends or couldn't make out words due to being so hysterical. The waiter kept coming by and sensed how awkward I was feeling. Out of all my restaurant experiences, I have never received my inter-registered signee in check so fast. The waiter was a true bro. I was a waiter as a first job. It was an attractive young woman and an average looking man. First off. These people were 30 and I have no clue why they decided to go to Applebee's for dinner. The guy was wearing plaid sleep pants and a oversized red zip up Columbia. The woman was dressed more nicely, but it was still casual. All goes well until it comes time for enter registered sign S. This guy orders a duck ton of ribs, a few full racks, and refuses the girl her original order of a house sirloin, which was only about $6, less than a fifth of his order. The man orders a $4 salad and a water for her. The woman stops talking completely while the man talks about some crazy party he went to. The man guzzles a few strawberry quencher iced teas. Says see I a Friday. And leaves her with the bill. She said the guy seemed nice when they talked on Tinder. But was very uncomfortable with him in real life. And afraid to say something. A co-worker and I paid for her meal. And later she and the same co-worker starting dating. And they are engaged now. Not as interesting as everyone else's for sure. But I thought I'd share it. Okay so I have been a bartender and a waiter over the years and have witnessed a couple of really sad ones. A couple crazy ones. And one that was just brutal. This one was the best of them all I thought. Good looking dude. Fit. Clear shaven. Kind of looked like Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel but younger. 24 had to card him. And slimmer. Sitting at the bar going on about how he had a date with this girl that his best friend was crushing on hard. That his friend just refused to ask her out because she was into him instead. He was really getting into his story when she walks in and he clams up like someone shocked him. 
She was by anyone's standards drop damn dead good looking and killing it in a little black dress and high heels. It was really that rip the record kind of moment. Anyway. She comes up and the do the little kissy huggy greeting and she orders a tequila shot with a lime. He does one with her and they banter about getting that out of the way and move into a little more intense banter and out of the blue this dude whistles at me. Shocked honestly as the bar is pretty empty. He whistles at me again while I am looking at him trying to figure out if he really just whistled at me like a ducking dog. Yo man. More shots. Disappointed as he really kind of seemed like a nice guy I go to pour him a shot and let him know I am not a dog he does not need to whistle to get a drink. Sure sure man. No worries just keep an eye out we are gonna get lit. Yo. I retire to the side bar real quick and one of the other guys working that night starts to talk to him while the girl goes to lady's room. When she gets back he whistles at the other bartender again and shouts hey man. Where are my shots? Pronto. This guy starts just hammering shots. Not crazy but pretty damn quickly as though at least 5. Girl only did the one and is sitting there sipping at a wine. The dude. We will now call you O. Starts to get a bit sideways. Nothing big. Just loud. Laughing at his own jokes. Talking over the girl every chance he gets. He then announces that he has to piss on a rock and walks to the back. The girl looks mortified and sad. She is texting away like a madman. Then I hear him in the back raising some cane and out he comes with a dude under his arm. They sit down and he starts talking to different girl at the bar. He is not really piss drunk but well on his way and says something out loud to the other girl about gay people and walks outside. His friend follows quickly after and the girl is left at the bar alone. Five minuets later the friend walks in. Sits down. Has a drink with the girl. I hear him say that he put him in a Uber and sent him home. They walk to go to the place the other dude had reservations for them at. I honestly thought hell yeah. Good for you dude. About 30 minutes later yo boy walks back in sober as the day he is born. Sits down waves me over and apologizes for whistling at me. Give us 20 bucks and buys us a shift drink for when we get off. I was off at this point and sit down to have mine with him. He lets me in on his game. He did it all for his friend. Got one stroke too drunk played the fools and called him to come save the day. Honestly said he is a better man for her than me. She is really just not my type. I was stuck between awe and impressed. They all came in about a month later looked all buddy buddy the trio of them. That arsehole whistled at me again but I admit it was funny. Man and woman cozy in a booth. Different woman storms in through the front door literally dragging two kids behind her. Right past the hostess station to stand defiantly in front of the couple and proceeds to itch. Dude was nailed. Not a first date story, but pretty funny. On my boyfriend and my second anniversary, we went to a small dinner at a nicer place. Nothing fancy, but not Applebee's. My boyfriend is on his phone trying to find an old picture of our first date. He dug through his phone for like 20 minutes while I sat there and talked to him. When all of a sudden two girls drop a note on our table. It said it's a first date. Talk to each other. And some other crap like that. Apparently they thought our first date was awkward and uncomfortable. Now every time he gets on his phone. Even though it's almost two years later. I think of that day night. Edit. No more eyes. I work in an Italian restaurant. A few years ago I waited on a guy and girl who met for the first time upon arriving at the restaurant. There were awkward pleasantries exchanged at the door and then they were seated. When I was taking their order the guy asked if we had soup because he had mouth surgery a few days prior and chewing food was still a little rough. We don't have soup. So I explained that the softest food on the menu was gnocchi. He ordered the house gnocchi and proceeded to cut each tiny dumpling into four or more pieces and slowly chew each piece. He ate that entire dish over a three hour period and the girl stuck it out for the whole thing. She looked miserable and I'm pretty sure they never saw each other again. I used to work at a little itty diner place. Definitely not the type of place to bring a first date. There was this guy who'd come in every Friday with a different girl. He was a very good looking dude and was always super polite and very nice to me. But he was super awkward. Girls would look kind of skeptical as they walked in, probably because of the crappy diner scene. Every week. About halfway through the meal. Like clockwork. The girls would develop these get me the duck out of here faces. That's when I would bring the check. They always boxed up their food and left right away. I had the chance to talk to one of them while he was in the restroom. 
Apparently he wasn't harmful. There was just something off about him that the girls didn't like. His persistence is on point though. When I was in high school, my college aged sister took me to a concert. While we were waiting for the show to start, we noticed a guy and girl in front of us who were clearly on a first date. Their conversation was so awkward that it literally devolved into talking about the weather. Brutal. Because we're terrible people. My sister and I decided to make fun of the couple by mimicking their embarrassing conversation. After a few minutes of our antics, the guy half turned his head toward us with a look of pure desperation on his face. As if to say, for the love of god, please don't make this nightmare worse than it already is. I'm begging you. We stopped. A few weeks later, my sister came home from a party and told me, remember that guy we made fun of at the concert? I just met him. We're going out on a date. They are now married with four children. Worked at Applebee's. This woman was the worst woman I've ever waited on. She was needy and slurped down her iced tea like there was a worldwide shortage. He was silent. He didn't talk once except to order his quesadilla burger. And she just kept going and going prattling on. And she was mean too. Talking down about how people were losers to be servers. And how much better it was to work in a shop. At the end. He went to the bathroom and just never came back. He apparently jetted out the side door where the Tigger girls worked and gave them a 20 to give to me. Worst woman was just sitting there and waiting for him to come back. I stood there at the service station just waiting for her to realize he wasn't coming back. So after 10 minutes, she just started crying, pushes her chair over, and flounced out. I didn't get a tip, but it made my night. I own a bakery. I see a lot of itty first coffee dates and itty people in general. But there's one that will always be the worst for me. This happened at my bakery maybe 6 months into our first year. Two boys come in. Chatting normally. Clearly on their first date. They're both young. Maybe 15 at most. And adorably nervous. They order at the counter and go find a table. Sitting close. One of them starts holding the other's hand. Playing with his fingers. Just being cute. All of a sudden this woman comes up and starts berating one of the boys. It was his mother. She had shown up because she wanted to meet the girl because her son was being cagey about who it was. I assume he had mentioned where they were going because she wouldn't let him out if she didn't know. She starts screaming and crying about how her son could do this to their family. Doesn't he know she wants grandkids? His father would be so ashamed if he was still alive. Doesn't his father's memory mean anything? She then tells him that if he keeps up with this, don't bother coming home, and then marches out of our shop. This poor boy is just weeping, while his not even really boyfriend is trying to comfort him, completely bewildered with what happened. I've seen three popular mentions of Applebee's so far. Survey says Applebee's might not be the best place for a date. Had an obvious first date where the lady was grilling the guy on how much money he makes and he didn't really want to answer. It was awkward serving steak and salad during an interrogation lol. I definitely have seen a lot of awkward last dates. I used to work at a very small neighborhood restaurant. Everyone that came in was a regular. Most were couples in their 40s 50s out for a quiet dinner. But there was one standout. A very handsome man in his early 30s would come in. It seems. Only to break up with women. About twice a month he would come in with a beautiful woman and part way through their meal she would be crying. I always tried to clean the tables near them for as long as possible but I never heard much of his speech. He always tipped well and was super nice to me and my co-workers. It was just brutal seeing him bring in a new lady and knowing what she was about to go through. Late to the party here but I was bartending in NY and watched this couple that had met on Tinder have their first date sitting at my bar. The girl was a complete maniac. Kept bringing up the fact that the dude she was with could be a psychopath and could murder her. He had given no indication of this, and went on Tinder while he was still sitting beside her at the bar. Kept telling him he was lucky that she agreed to meet him at all and she didn't think he'd be this boring. She ordered about 5 or 6 lits and several shots. He literally just had 2 beers. She made him pay for everything. My favorite part of this it show was that he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left through the fire escape. Absolutely brilliant. To be clear. There was only one official entrance and exit. This dude escaped out the back and she went searching for him. Straight up thought he had disapparated out of the bar. 
I was working in a small restaurant with two floors. A woman and a man came in and I had a table for them upstairs. It looked like they had a first date because they were asking those getting to know each other questions. After ordering food the woman had to go to the toilet, which is downstairs. As she walked to the stairs, the food arrived. She walked down, tripped and fell all the way down knocking her head on the ground. Two colleagues immediately rushed over to her to see how she was doing. She was unconscious and bleeding from her head so they called an ambulance. I went to the man while he already started eating and told him his partner, didn't know how to call her, fell down the stairs and that she was unconscious and that an ambulance was on the way. He walked to the stairs, looked down and walked back to his table to finish his food. Later the ambulance arrived and I asked him if he wanted to go with him to the hospital and he said no while finishing her food as well. It was so awkward he just sat there for another 45 minutes eating, drinking, paid the bill and left. I still don't know what kind of relationship they had and whether the woman is okay. So, I don't know if it was a first date, but hopefully last date. But last week I had a couple come in, and the man, thugged out and in his late 20s, began cussing about everything on the menu. Yo, itch, why do you pick this itty ass place? All the shit on the menu is ducking expensive as duck. Mid-price lunch place. 90% locals and regulars of the senior variety for the most part. So dude continues to cuss and berate his girl. And she doesn't say anything. I come over and take their order. And he refuses to get anything. She gets some chicken strips. And then he starts in on me about how this is a snobby ass old white folk place at this point the regulars are noticing and one went to the owner to let him know what was going on. And he came out. Hands on his hips and said you have two choices. Either stop the profanity and act civilized. Or leave my establishment. The man said I don't gotta do it. Yo. Meanwhile the girl is now quietly eating her chicken. Not saying a word. Una goes and calls the cops. Because now this guy is getting louder and ruder to his poor date. When dude sees the cops roll up. He takes off. Leaving the girl sitting at the table. Officers intercept him in the parking lot. And at the same time go and question the girl. Asking if he's ever hit her. If she feels safe. ETC ETC. Man. I felt so bad for her. Colon. I have seen everything from crying to catch up ramkins being thrown. The only obvious first date I ever noticed is as follows. Above average looking guy sits down and says he is waiting on his blind date to show up and I tell him I'll keep my fingers crossed. The girl shows up a half hour late and she is not attractive. She was probably 120 pounds heavier than what he was looking for in her face. I got an oh well look from the guy when she was in the bathroom. He didn't say anything to me. Just had his dinner. Every time I refilled the glasses, there was conversation with both people smiling. At the end of the meal he paid the whole tab and tipped. Well, after they said their goodbyes I caught up with the guy. I had finished all my tables and wanted to know if he was seriously okay with being set up with someone so obviously not in his dating demographic. So I asked how his meal and date was, then asked if there would be a second date. He laughed and said not likely. I told him that's what I thought but they seemed to be having a good time. He told me, that girl probably hasn't been on three dates where the guy actually paid and was genuinely nice. Why wouldn't I be a gentleman? My friends are decent. But she did nothing wrong and deserves to be treated like a beauty every now and then. Edit. You can't blame him for acting appropriately according to his genetics. We can't choose our genes. All we can do is be decent to one another.